Thank you for joining us for week one of the Two Minute Drills. I'm Aram Talegian, San Gabriel Valley Newspaper Group football writer, joined by San Gabriel Valley Tribune prep sports editor Fred <laughs> J. Robletto. Freddie, right now we're going to talk about Diamond Ranch taking on Damien. That's mm-hmm. at Ganesha High School on Friday night, 7 p.m. Uh, let's set the stage yeah. here. Diamond Ranch 0-1, lost last week. Um, well, loss is kind Welcome of Welcome nice back to the San Gabriel Valley Diamond Ranch. That loss, was a loss is kind of a nice trip word to for Orange it. County. Right. Yeah. Uh, 56 nothing loss to Santa Margarita. Uh, Damien will be playing its first ball game. Freddie, uh, let's jump right into this. Yeah, Two teams you, that really need a win. When you look at Santa Margarita, you know, we didn't think this was going to be the super tough game on their schedule like they've had in previous years with Oaks Christian or even Bishop Mott because right. Oaks Christian struggled so much last year. Right. But they have the new coach, Harry Welch, who obviously is turning that program around. But 56 nothing, Aram, that's a beat down. I, yeah. mean, that, I think that surprised all of us. Not that they lost, that they would go there and lose that badly. I mean, a team that's been in the finals two straight years and a team that we you know we believe or we had thought was going to be a contender maybe in the, the Southeast Division later on down the line. Uh, quarterback Cesar Carrero. Uh, he threw for 83 yards. He was on 11 of 15 passes, not bad with an interception. Chase Price, um, just 49 yards, and, and the team really struggled. To, to They ran about 80 yards in total, Aaron. They're going to need to get better there. And right. Against Damian, they probably will. You right. know, Damian's, you know, they're, they're a team that a lot of us, including myself, pick last uh, in the Sierra League. So this is a big game for them kind of to show us where they're at right now off the bat. And I'm sure Coach Gano has had a look at uh, Diamond Ranch. He has that advantage yeah. of watching them play the first game. So it's one of those games that I kind of uh, like Damien's chances going into it. Right. Um, Damien, quarterback, Enrique Zaldivar will be making his first star. You have James Ramirez, uh, Griffin Lord, you know, just to name some of the uh, Damien playmakers. Um, but Freddie, Diamond Ranch is known for its playmakers too. Right. You know, you, you talk about Chase Price, uh, Aaron Allman. Um, Freddie, but but Beyond. we talked but we talked about them having to replace a lot of guys. Well, here. they did, and you're, and you're yeah. seeing it right. I mean, yeah. last year's team wouldn't have lost fifty six nothing. Santa Margarita. Not. They right. did. I mean, last year's team when they played those tough games, or even in recent years, you know, except for the Bishop Lamont game last year, when they've stepped up and played some of these games, they've been in them. I mean, to see them get beat down that bad against a team, we still don't know how good Santa Margarita is going to be. I think right. they won two games right. last year. I so. think they'll be a lot better. Yeah, you you think so? But uh, that was a pretty big loss. Yeah. And, and with Damien being such a question mark, this is a game really Damien can't afford to lose because they've got so many tough games down the stretch. And when you think of swagger and you're going to need to have it going into the Sarah League, they really have to get off to a good start. And they need to keep, take care of Diamond Ranch while they're down and, and, and probably still dizzy from last week's loss. Freddie, subplot here, the coaches. I mean, talk about two of the guys we love to talk to the most. Yeah. Uh, Greg Gaino over at Damien starting year two uh, of his tour there, and Roddy Layton over at Diamond Ranch. We all know what a great run he's had. Coaching looks pretty even. Yeah, yeah. And, and these are two coaches, <laughs> I, I think if you talk to them both three years ago, they didn't really care for each other that right. much. There was the game where uh, Diamond Ranch came back against Gaino's uh, Los Altos team, and, right. and and he wound up getting thrown out, Roddy Layton, in that game down the line, some major <laughs> right. exchange. But so there's think, some history there. But I think, yeah, there's there's re- some respect amongst and those respect, coaches right yeah. now, and, and I think both of them are under some pressure. I mean, Gaino, in year two, they, they need to get going a little bit here. Right. And and same with Layton. After a loss like that, everyone knows their, their preseason is usually tough. But it's not the juggernaut it's been in recent years. Right. You know, you don't want to see them starting 0 and 2, 0 and 3 again like they have in, in other right. years. So I think it's important for them at home to, to come back and, and have a good uh, account of themselves. Okay, Freddie, I'm calling this the, the, the one winnable big game on Damien's schedule this year. Their schedule is that tough, and I think they win it. I think they win it close. I think if you're looking for points, you better head somewhere else on Friday night. I'm not kidding you. I'm talking like maybe nine to seven. I'm picking Damien in this game. Who yeah, I think you call it when you said a low scoring game. I was thinking the same thing, and I like Damien to pull it out too. Like you said, this is their opening game. They've had a chance to scout them. Um, Diamond Ranch obviously has some issues, and if, if Damien's going to get two, three, four wins in their schedule, this is one they have to right. get. So I, I, I like Damien in this opener. Right. So there you have it. Freddie and I both taking Damien in a low scoring uh, but interesting game right. nonetheless at Ganesha High School on Friday night. Get out there and check it out.